subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! What's up guys? So, uh, Friday morning, we've got a cheat day, as you can see it's a selection of food. We just got an extra breakfast just in case we're feeling a little bit more hungry. Um, so today we're gonna, we've asked you to ask us some questions. So we're gonna go through all the questions and answer them as well as we can while eating our moose bush of breakfast food. So there we go. So I think let's just get into it, shall we? Yes. Andresf.francom.5. Barry, sex boy, that's a great name. <laughs> Any tips for mental health? Feel like not even eating. Making yourself feeling better, I would say, is take responsibility on what you're doing, um, because only you can change that. Um, that's what I've learned over the last kind of year or so, is that if I'm relying on someone else to make me feel better, that's not really, for me, it's not a beneficial thing. Cold water really helps. I was out swimming this morning. Um, it really helps you reset um, and make small goals as well. If you're really struggling, like you say, you're struggling to eat at the moment, so just make small goals to eat even three meals a day. You know, if that's if that's something that you're doing, if you're a strong man, if you're an athlete, um, just take accountability of your actions. And I think that, as soon as you take accountability of your actions, that really um, improves yourself, in my opinion. So, next question, Tom. Any thoughts on a ladies section of your clothing line? Then I don't have to pretend to buy hubbies. Buy for hubby, so that's from Beth.m. Right, here's the thing. Boys are easy to buy, uh, to make for. Girls are a bit harder. They're a bit uh, fussy on the old. You have to, where ladies, no it's disrespect to them, you have to get them perfect with them. Whereas taking out a man's t-shirt is just, it can be baggy, it can be tight, it can be anything. So why don't we take out unisex? There you go. This is a unisex t-shirt, this, you know. This is unisex. We don't need a female range to shout Well, not right now. Hopefully in the future, maybe, but not right now. They're too busy. Too much stress with that take. Oh, you're under stress, aye. Right. That would be. Well, I think maybe at one point, looking at maybe like branching into CrossFit as well, I think that would be cool. Um, but that, like Tom says, that's later on um, down the line. Next question from Adam.Dinsdale.86. Luke, do you think Tom can be as dominant as Brian Shaw has been? Yeah, for sure, I think it goes without saying. Um, Tom's obviously the world's strongest man at the moment. Um, if Tom wants to be as dominant as Brian, or Big Z, or anyone, then I think Tom's got the capabilities of doing that. Um, it's just how long, I suppose, Tom decides to, to kind of do the, the, the competition thing for. Um, but yeah, definitely he can be as dominant as any of the strong men. I don't think it's very fair. I've got to read out all the questions, so I'm not eating as much. I'm only joking. Pereza04, best ever. Best, sorry, best strong man ever. My top three are Marius Pustinowski, Derek Poundstone, Brian Shaw. There we go. Controversial. I think the best ever. Big Z, um, Brian, and Marius. It's my. And maybe Thor up there as well. I think a, a strong Thor is one of the greatest feats of strength I think there's ever been. So, yeah, Big Z, Thor, and Marius, and Brian. So, from Get Inc. underscore Stronker, apart from Strongman, what would be your dream job? Hello from Ireland. Hello. Footballer from Glasgow Rangers. Easy. <laughs> For my dream job, I think, um, I don't know what we're, what we're doing now, obviously, and then the business side of things, owning gyms, merchandise range, um, that'd be up there, definitely. Anything anything that I can do to work for myself. Tom, this one for you. Um, Ned PBB88 asks, favourite hype songs for Stone and Loglifting PRs? Favourite for Stones? Stormzy. Or Mist. Mist Cemetery Walks. That is two of the best songs you'll ever listen to in your life. I'll say nothing more, listen to them guys. Mist Cemetery Walks. Jacobite Dot Warrior. When are you going for a 300 kilo Stone of Destiny, Tom? <laughs> the Stone of Destiny will be done next year. Date two can be confirmed. That'll be 2022 Sunday. That'll be after May, anyway, after World Strongest Man. So, Three King C, what would, what would your message be to your younger selves? Hmm. 
I think for me, I would say to have more self-belief in what I'm doing and realise, if I could have realised earlier the potential that I had and got rid of all the self-doubts I had, um, that would be pretty powerful for me. Um, and just to enjoy, I think being happy, to be happy is the most important thing in life. Um, and I think when I was younger, I didn't really know that. Um, so for me, yeah, just to be happy and enjoy life. I um, mean, be more confident and do not listen to other people's opinions. Sean Rusby, um, Tom, do this one. Who were your strongman heroes growing up and who do you look up to now? I basically just said uh, Derek Poundstone, Marius Puskinovsky. Those are the two guys that I've watched when I was younger. And then now, probably uh, Brian Shaw, 100%. What about your brother? Who's that? <laughs> he can't get a big head. Ian McGuck, 46. Will there ever be a boy born who can swim faster than a shark? No. Well, that's random, but I do not have a clue. Any plans to open more gyms? Stopman Strength Center 2.0. Right. Uh, there is plans in the foreseeable future, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Into the cities we're going to be going into now. Yeah, so basically we're wanting to do a chain, a chain of gyms. Um, so we've been speaking to people about that, and um, that's the goal as well. That's one of the visions that we see is that um, the Stoke and Strength Centres, and not only is it physical strength that we're trying to improve, but mental, mental strength as well. I think that's very important to us. So uh, if we could expand the the gym range, that'd be pretty awesome. So stay tuned for that. This is Jay Beach again. Well, what even is haggis? You know what you do, Jay Beach? You go to the shop, you buy haggis, you cook it, then you tell us what haggis is. I ain't telling no Scottish secrets. If you were a big fan, you'd know what haggis is, bruh. Luke Grace, predictions for the Saw Classic. Brian Shaw will, will win it. I, for predictions for the Shaw Classic, I think Brian Shaw will win it. <laughs> Obvious reasons, you don't have to go into that. JF Caron second. Third place will be, Bishop will be up there in the top three, I think. That is my top three prediction for So my, my prediction for Saw Classic this weekend, yeah, I think Big Brian, Brian will do well, obviously. Um, JF Caron. Bish is always up there now in competitions. And um, also I think um, Maxim, Maxim Boudreau. I think he'll do really well. Um, some good events for him, so hopefully he can kind of turn up in shape and yeah, smash it. Steve Bedford, will you be at the Arnold? And do you know if SPD will be there too? The first part, we will be at the Arnold for the whole weekend. Is SPD there? Yes, I think SPD will be there. Yeah, I mean, it would be weird if they weren't. So, yes, we will be there unless SPD will be there. The big fell, the big fell in 1971. Is the Stokeman Highland game still in the pipeline, lads? All the best from sunny Ayrshire. Ginger! Hey! Yes, it's still in the pipeline. It's just getting over this COVID stuff and we're really busy right now, aren't we? So, hopefully in the next year or so. The Stokeman Highland Games will be coming to Invergordon. Hey! Right, so from Ben MH dot sound what do you like to do besides lifting things go to uh, i like to go to football games follow glasgow rangers and eat food <laughs> i spend time with the wife of course <laughs> yeah similar i like to you don't like to go to football games so. <laughs> don't lie you don't like to spend time with the wife <laughs> <laughs> because you have to. <laughs> so you don't, you're never in at home. Jeez. So what, what do I like to do? I like to spend time with my family, see family, relax in the house, spend time with the dogs, go swimming, just relax because one of us is extremely busy doing stuff while the other just goes to Rangers games. Next question from D93 underscore fitness. What was your moment you knew you could go pro and strong man? The moment that I got bored at work, stood up and uh, said to them I, I quit and what and went home <laughs> it was like four weeks before christmas and that was the moment i knew i could go pro for me the moment i knew i could go pro um i, I, I still kind of debate whether or not we're we're not 100 percent pro strongmen because i think to be a professional strongman you have to have everything else on board as well so we have to do the merchandise we have to do the youtube um but for me it was after coming second in dubai in 2019 
Um, for me, I knew I had that kind of potential. It was kind of, I wasn't fulfilling my potential by, by not being full time. So um, after doing 16 years working in oil rigs, um, I decided it was time to, to give that a, a swerve and kind of go full time and do strongman on the business side of things. Um, I am not my job. What do you do to relax? What do you do to relax, de-stress and unwind? Um, so for me, I, I've, I've said earlier on, I like to go swimming, I like to just chill at home. Um, like for example, last last night, <coughs> me and Koosh just watched movies for a couple of a couple of movies last night, and that's that's really how I kind of de-stress and um, just relax a little bit. Yes, and for me, I answered it already. Go to football games, spread time with Shalane, see the family in his house, and get, get fat and chill. So from Mike Cheong, Mike, how many times do you do a job a day? That's a very personal question. Eh? I ain't answering that. No comment. I'm usually four times. Very personal. Eh? Very personal. Dale.Grimes2000, have you guys ever considered becoming actors or at least get in, or at least getting into acting? I am an actor. I'm an actor already, you know. My whole life's an act. Um, yeah, I would love to get into acting. It'd be something pretty cool. You look at like Eddie and Thor, um, what they've done. So um, I think they've kind of really opened up that possibility. So I think it'd be pretty nice to to get into to acting if, if we can. If there's any Steven Spielberg, if you're watching. I think he's got better things yeah, to Get me in your movies. <coughs> Dale.Grimes2000 again. What is your workout routine and diet for strongman? Should I just say check out the YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> so for training, basically we train five days a week. We train Monday to Friday. Wednesday's usually an active recovery day. And we split it down into body parts. We'll do pressing, back, squats, events, and active recovery. Uh, weekends are off. Then diets are usually the basic chicken, rice, pasta, uh, steaks, etc. You'll see it on our YouTube, there's a few videos back of it. But obviously, this weekend, most weekends, the last few weekends, we've been allowed to have cheat days. So, obviously a cheat day means you can do anything you want. So, from Cleakers underscore clothes, do you have someone to run the gym or do, do you do that as well as being pro strongman? Just like Luke said earlier, we do everything ourselves right now. So, obviously we've got Gab now and Simon to do YouTube and stuff, but the gym, we run ourselves, we run the business bits ourselves, and we train. So yeah, it's a very, very stressful time sometimes, and it's hard sometimes to find a balance, isn't it? You know, especially when you take out new t-shirts or new things come out. That's when the kind of stressful times I think hit. When night, like a hundred orders come in a day, and then you're panic, like a stressful panic, you know, a bit in case people don't get their orders, but. Here's what it is, our team's going to be growing soon, so hopefully, you know, in the next few weeks we'll see a good few changes and everything will kind of start to get de-stressful. Mm -hmm. So Rob underscore W underscore Warren, can you both podium in Leeds? Good dot luck. Yes, we can both podium in Leeds and take home a world record too. Hey, <laughs> We're coming for you Leeds, you're the strongest man. Right guys, hope you enjoyed our question and answer, answer for you. Um, if you've got any more questions, write them below in the comments. We'll try and get back to you as, much, as quick as we can. Thank you for all the questions, you were awesome. We're going to finish off our breakfast, start our day right, and then we've got events later on. We've got savoury and sweet here today. So, thanks for watching guys. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling.